hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel in this tutorial i am going to show and discuss how we integrate the selenium python test with the jenkins for nightly build execution okay so first of all once you set up the jenkins you will see your screen will looks like this there is a new item button click on this enter here name like i am giving selenium python selenium python click on the free style or we can also create the pipeline project so now i am going to show how we create the free style so click on the free style click on ok button and here you will see some option right like you can see option is uh, here first we need to provide the description what is the description like this is selenium python automation test okay so we have multiple options here uh, discard old builds github github project leave as it is right and then we have here source code management tool here we need to provide the uh, access from the git so basically what we are going to set up here so when we uh, set up here uh, at the uh, github a uh, path so it will automatically pull the code from the git what is available and then run our test on the same build same setup code so i have our code into the repository here so i can copy the ur clone url copy this go to here select the git paste here the git url okay then here we can uh, add the credential if you have right uh, this is the public repository so for this no need to set up the credential but yes if you have a uh, credential so click on the new button go to the jenkins okay it will prompt right here there is by default username and password is selected enter username then password give some id unique id right so uh, and then click on add button once you will click on add button password will this started displaying under the drop down here credential okay so in my case i don't need so because pub, your uh, repository is public then we can add multiple repositories here and then branch in which branch from which branch we need to pull the code so here there is a main branch so we need to pull the code main branch so just replace this with the main branch main so now next is the build trigger section this is also important here we can schedule our automation test script so we can run test script with multiple ways right build trigger build remote so we can write some test script by using that a test script we can run the build build after other projects are built we can dependent project once the project other project is complete this will start running build periodically here we can schedule the time right when we want to run our automation test script you can see more detail here if i click here it will give us some option right so if i click here help section you will see here in which format we need to pass the time and there are multiple examples are given okay every 15 minutes h slash 15 and pass the star remaining basically here we need to pass uh, for scheduling we need to pass minute hour date of month month date of week so minute hour dom means the day of the month month 1 to 12 d, uh, dow the day of the week 0 to 7 in this format we can pass the value so these setup and here are some example h divided by 15 it means it will run for each and every 15 minutes uh, every 15 minutes it will start running will environment related things and this is the build steps here we can configure how we are going to run our automation test script so this is for we are running from command line right so we can if we are using windows machine then in that case uh, we need to call the execute windows uh, batch command if we are going to use means our jenkins is going to execute the test on linux machine so we need to execute the cell so let's see because my sixth case it's windows machine so click on this one okay now here we need to pass the command so what command we need to pass pytest okay and my project is available under the selenium python 
so then i need to call this selenium python okay because when it will clone the repository there will be folder is created okay root folder is available uh, here this one here we have another folder right so we need to navigate here the folder from which folder we want to run the test okay if we want to generate the LO report because here i'm going to show also how we publish the LO report as well as the html report so we can pass here hello hyphen dir hello dir equal to report if we want to generate the JUnit report, JUnit XML result.xml for HTML report, right? Just hyphen yes, HTML report.html file. Okay, now it's ready. Uh, and then click on save button but before going to click on save button like suppose that if we want to publish the result okay we need to call the publish report publish html report this one right here we need to pass the directory name where the report is going to generate so this report is report html so we can call here directory same because this is root directory so we don't need to pass here anything if report is generate, going to generate in any particular folder, then we need to provide here folder name. And the my report name is report.html, so I will pass here report.html. Okay, these are optional. Report title looks like report.html. We can give here some own title like execution report. Okay, this second thing we can also publish the Allure report. So we have Allure report option okay so it's added here okay uh, post build elevator report is added here so here we need to pass the uh, path of the folder so basically we are passing here the uh, command folder name is report okay so this folder name we need to pass here in which folders report is generated report and one more thing here you can see jenkin need to know where your elevator command is installed so in that case, we need to go into the global settings, right? Go to here and we need to configure the tool. Scroll down, even Elevate command line is available here. So list of Elevate command installation of the system. So click on this, okay? Give the name. Yeah, I'm giving one name. Uh, this is the Elevate command only. And uh, in, uh, so it will automatically install, right? We don't need don't need to install this manually. But just select, uh, give the name of Elevate, and then here select the version which version we want to uh, download. So let this latest version is selected. It will download from the Maven Central repository automatically. This is one-time activity. It will download and set up the uh, Elevate command line for the Jenkins. Click apply click on save button okay now it's it's saved okay so also when we are not able to see the uh, published html report as well as the load report under this section then it means you have not installed the plugins so first you need to go to the manage plugins and install the uh, html report publisher as well as the load report then you will see these options how we do that right how we install so go to your dashboard in that case you need to go to your dashboard let me open in this net new tab okay and then go to the manage jenkin go to the uh, scroll down you will see the manage plugin click on this and there you will see updates available plugins install plugin advanced setting so go to the available plugins okay and then search here publish html because this is already installed in my system so that's why it's not coming here and for the elevator report just search elevator okay both are not coming because that is installed if i go in install section and if i search okay you can see elevator jenkin plugin is coming here and uh, similar type we if we go here publish html 
HTML publisher you can also see. So both you can see uh, under your uh, available plugins. If that is not available in your post build section, if you are not able to see here, so go and install the plugins from the plugin section. Once the plugin is installed, okay, and after that you can if you go here and you will see the both options, okay. And if I go here. No need to do anything because I already set up with the global tool configuration. Click apply and save. Okay, job is ready. Lower report option we can see here. And uh, if I now uh, build, okay, you will see it will start running the test. First, it will fetch the code from the repository and it started running the test. Now you can see. There are two tests we'll execute. One is the Google search. Second is the Facebook login. Both tests run successfully. Okay. One failed, two passed, four warning. Okay. So after that, it will generate the report. Here, three tests means uh, we have data driven testing site. Right? That's why Google search run twice. And uh, in the report, you can see uh, it's generated the reports, right? And uh, archiving the HTML report like this. So let's see here now the report, how reports looks like this. Go to the Selenium uh, Python project, okay? Execution reports option is coming here, and the report is coming also. Click on the HTML report, you will see the report is published like this. It's not supported as, as of now, it's not supported the uh, CSS properties that's why we are getting the reports looks like this and if I go here again click on Ellery report you will see Ellery report is published here and we can see the reports category suite timeline all details we can see here I think going back to the project so we can directly go from here click this it will directly jump to the project corresponding build Artifacts we have also here build artifact we can download it will give us the Hillary report .zip file Go back on selenium project here. Uh, you can see uh, the HTML uh, report is not published properly Right because we need to run some uh, code on the Jenkins. So what code we need to run? So this is the system dot set property uh, this basically need to run on the Jenkins. So go to your job uh, dashboard Manage Jenkins. Click here. Scroll down, and there is a option uh, Script Console. Click on this. Paste here. Okay, and then click on Run button. Now, after execution, this uh, we need to go again project, and if we run next time, right, report will publish properly. So, and CSS will uh, start supporting to the reports. Now, running the test again. It's a testing one. Then go to the Facebook. Okay, closed. And here you can see it's publishing the report. Publish is done. Okay, go back. This is the LDO report link. Click here. You will see the LDO report. Go back to the project from here. Okay, then uh, go to the project, click on the HTML report, execution report, right? Now you can see the reports looks like this. Now it's a report published properly. All the details is coming, build, uh, git URL, right? Git commit ID, git URL branch, all the details what is uh, available, we can see here. And then this is the summary of the reports. How many tests pass and how many tests fail, we can also see here. Okay, so hope this will be helpful uh, to generate the reports uh, and also publish the reports, uh, LDO report as well as the HTML reports in the uh, Jenkins environment. So hope this tutorial will helpful how we set up the Selenium PyTest with the Jenkins, how we run the test, 
how we pull the code from the repository and then how we uh, publish the result in your reports as well as the uh, HTML reports on the Jenkins environment. Thanks for watching the video and if you like the tutorial click on the like button, subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon and also share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues and if you have any questions, any query, leave comments. Thanks for watching video.